everybody. This is a Lamley showcase. It was supposed to be a Lamley preview, but the set has hit. I got some models over here from the Matchbox team a while ago, and they said preview it when we get closer to when they're going to be released. They said that will probably be mid-August, so I planned on it, and then boom, the set has hit. So get to Walmart right now to find this, the brand new Matchbox Mercedes-Benz 5 car, maybe 6 car set. We'll get to that in a little bit. It is at Walmart now. We'll get to all of the details here in just a second. But first, look at all these Mercedes-Benz that I kind of parked out here. The Mercedes-Mattel relationship is tight. It used to be a not non-existent, um, but they have come back with a vengeance, partly because of Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, who has a sponsorship with Mercedes. So that's why you've seen so many of the Mercedes models um, released, like this beauty uh, released in the Jurassic World set. Some of you have already found this, the brand new Unimog, which is very, very cool. In two colors, there's a five-pack exclusive and a single exclusive. Of course, there is this G-Wagon. We've seen the silver version. There's the battle version coming, and then this black version I think some people have found as well. But let's get back to this, the five-car Mercedes-Benz set. I said five cars. We'll get to all the five models. Beautiful beautiful artwork. I will show you all of the artwork here in a second. You can see there's the model the title. It doesn't even show anywhere the model over here. It's right there on the top of the card, which is kind of cool. But here's the thing. There's six cars here in the artwork on the back. For you people that want to look for the uh, UBC, there it is. Freeze the screen. But here is the mystery. It's not really a mystery. Five cars here. One is missing. The G-Class G550. It is the G-Wagon. It has been delayed. Now, you might say, delayed, John. We've seen all these in the uh, in the Jurassic Park set. So let's just get to that right now. If you've noticed right here, I have a early pre-production of the G-Wagon that Matchbox sent me for a showcase that I did a while ago. And I still have it, so I wanted to show it to you now. Do you see if there's something different about this one? Now, obviously, this is not the color we're going to see of the G-Wagon, but notice something different. Yep, this one from the Jurassic World has the front grill bar or the whatever you want to call it there on the front. This one does not. So this one is more of your street version. The other one is more of your off-road style, I guess. I mean, I don't know if that's how you want to designate it, but that's essentially the difference. I don't know that one is a 2014, one is a 2015. I did notice that there's a slight difference in the rear tire carrier. But that's the only difference I could find. There might be more, but I can't uh, figure it out. So my guess with the changes, we have that pre-production there. There's a delay in the production, and I'm assuming we're going to see it later on. If we don't, we don't. But I, that's my assumption. That is what Matchbox has told me, that it has been delayed. So hopefully we'll see it. I don't even know what the color is. I don't even know what it looks like. Um, I just know that it is supposed to come. But let's get to these five models. We will start with that SLR McLaren. It is in kind of a matte gold, I would say. I guess you would call that gold, maybe copper, not really. We have we saw this in silver last year in the basic range after a long, long hiatus because of the uh, Mattel um, licensing was gone. I want you to focus on this artwork before you focus on the model. I just love, every background is different on these five cars. This is the GLE Coupe. It is a new model in 2018. And here it is already in a recolor. You can see there's another one there too. Um, in brown. I like that it sits on the five-spoke wheels. So the styling is all the same in the artwork, like the positioning of the car, but the backgrounds uh, is all different, but it's all nighttime, which I love too. Just sharp. The CLS 500. This is an old casting now. It is, I think, was first released in 2006. We saw it in the, um, what was it, the best of line maybe last year. It's still a beautiful car, and it's kind of gone from what was a current car in 2006 to, I would say, a Mercedes Classic. So I'm really glad they're using this one in this kind of satin blue color. Still love that car. Every time I see one on the road, I'm always happy to see it. Now let's get to the big mean stuff, and we go with this one. It's already a star. It's the G63 AMG 6x6. Such a unique vehicle, and here it is in just plain yellow with the gray rims. I just think it is awesome. Great 
desert nighttime artwork. Pretty sweet, right? The headlights going. It is just released in the J case as well, so it's coming out rapidly. And then if you look behind that pre-production, you can see another Jurassic one coming. All right, last one. That's definitely not nighttime, huh? Got that one wrong. This was a surprise. Unimog U300. In fact, when, just a stupid funny story, when Matchbox sent these models over for me to preview, um, I just assumed that the Unimog was in the basic range because it had the uh, National Parks deco, but this was what they slated for the Mercedes-Benz set. So I was always like, hey, you've sent me four models, but I'm missing the fifth. And they said, no, you got it. And they were right, because this is the National Parks, that beautiful favorite deco of mine. And for many of you, Unimog is a casting that's been around a while as well. Now we have two Unimogs, this one, and then the larger carrier over there. There you go. That is the Mercedes-Benz 5, maybe six car set. If we get that six car, you guys let me know, but I don't know if we'll see it for a while. Lots and lots to get to, especially Matchbox. You can't believe how much I have to show you. It's going to be kind of cool, so stay tuned. Bye.